Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Grand Seiko Spring Drive SPGA 101 in stainless steel. You can see and you can purchase this Spring Drive automatic 3-day power reserve all-around watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this versatile Grand Seiko SBGA 101 in stainless steel. Now I called it an all-around watch and it truly is that with a loomed dial and 100 meter water resistance, automatic winding and a three-day power reserve, a versatile white metal and black dial combination. This is a watch that could serve the functions as sports and dress timepiece for an owner. It could be your one and only. It does fit well and fits easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. A few ways to measure it. Now my calipers say that this advertised 41 millimeter watch is actually 40.5, so keep that in mind. It is slim. 13.2 millimeters isn't ultra thin by any standard, however with a conical bezel profile it will slide easily underneath a dress cuff. Now from lug to lug, here's where the variability comes into play. If you were to just take the flanks of the case, the outermost outcropping on both sides, the lug to lug would be 48.7 millimeters. And if you wear it on a strap, that would be the measurement, but the watch has a bracelet with solid end links. So counting the additional span of the solid end links across the wrist, the watch is a more substantial 50 0.8 millimeters. Regardless, I believe you could wear this watch easily on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. Now you will note that there are pinholes for strap tools, the better to swap out the bracelet and perhaps accessorize the watch with a NATO or a leather strap and you'll want to know in that case that it's quite easy to do and like old school Rolex you simply insert your pin tool and the bracelet comes right off. Now I will also say that the bracelet is wonderfully comfortable. Nicely made with a combination of satin on the top and polish on its flanks. It's sized with screws, no pins and sleeves or spring bars and on the underside there are broad recesses between the links to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. The clasp is substantial but low in profile. It's not a dive clasp, which means that once it's closed, it's solid and it's secure. You do have to open it by pressing the triggers so you have that extra measure of confidence. And Grand Seiko didn't resort to a cheaper clamshell closure mechanism to secure the clasp. I like the fact that triggers were used. Now turning the watch back over, you can see that there is a handsome integration of lug and end link with just a little bit of a step and a calculated step between the profile of the end link and the lugs. The lugs are fully expressed on both sides, which is unusual. Usually a conforming profile end link for a bracelet will fill out the well of the lugs. Here, the lugs are allowed to stand a little bit proud of the link on both sides, and I like that. The case has a good deal of character. You can see Grand Seiko's signature Zoratsu optically smooth polish. In fact, I should probably relieve this one of my fingerprints so you can get better view of exactly how crystal clear that is. It's almost like black polishing on a movement. Smooth, reflective, and dynamic. It's enhanced by the fact that the sides aren't as perfectly sheer and flat as you'll find on a modern Supercase Rolex. And then you have these gorgeous faceted bevels that help to play with and break up reflections. You'll also note that the tops of the lugs are satin finished to match the end links of the bracelet and provide a little bit of contrast. The bezel is very narrow and if you look at the watch head on, the typical mugshot profile you often see online, you'll see that the lugs as well as the bezel really melt away to emphasize the dial. And it is a highly functional dial as the contrast level is high, the quality is commensurate, and there's even a little bit of luminescent paint outboard of the indices as well as on the hands at center. So yes, there will be a loom shot at the end of the video. This is why I call the watch an all-arounder. It really does have all capabilities. The timepiece features beautifully faceted hands and indices. Grand Seiko dials are an undersold competitive advantage of the brand and it's the combination of the faceting, the polish, and the sharpness of the bevels on these individual indices that give them the quality of almost metallic gems in the way they catch the light. Now the dial base is a matte black so the contrast level is high and absent glare. You'll note there's a small power reserve scale tracing the 72 hours of full wind autonomy at 7 o'clock. The watch is a pleasure to wind by the way though it is automatic you can also wind it manually and you will enjoy the experience. Rarely discussed the manual winding tactile 
sensation of an automatic watch is an important part of a review to me, so I always like to note it. It has the perfect combination of refinement with just a little bit of mechanical grit to make you feel like you're truly interacting with the machine. Now you'll note the watch does feature hacking or stop seconds when you pull the crown. The Caliber 9R65 spring drive automatic does halt the seconds hand to permit you to synchronize precisely to a reference time. And I wanna just make sure that I'm not in the danger zone. And then I will demonstrate that the watch also features a quick set date functionality so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. The crown is a screw down unit as you may have gauged from my manipulation of it up to this point, and the screwed in case back, which as you can see is solid, does endow the watch with 100 meter water resistance. Now what's underneath is a automatic three day power reserve watchmaker assembled and regulated 30 joule Seiko spring drive caliber 9R65. Spring drive is a fascinating combination of energy conversion device and timekeeping mechanism. So you start with either the manually wound or the automatic wound energy that you put into the watch that's coiled up in the mainspring. So you have kinetic energy to spring potential energy. Then it's translated through the drivetrain, a traditional jeweled and lubricated mechanical train, and becomes kinetic energy. At that point, it's funneled through a regulating wheel that creates an induced electrical current that wakes up the quartz oscillator and by means of a back EMF or electromagnetic force, again induced by the energy of the spring downstream, that back EMF regulation in concert with the quartz oscillator keeps the watch accurate to, as Seiko rates it, minus 15 to plus 15 seconds per month. So you get the best advantage of a quartz watch, which is precision, with the soul and the human interaction necessary to build and regulate a mechanical movement. That's why you have the continuous smooth sweep of the seconds hand. It's not stepping back and forth as you would find on a oscillating Swiss lever. Inside the case, it's a wheel that moves in only one direction. Therefore, there are no steps or stops or stuttered. If you look at the hand, you will realize that it is a completely smooth sweep, and that's spring drive. It is a fully mechanical system that converts energy into just enough electricity, it has no battery or capacitor, to run the quartz oscillator and achieve quartz precision with a mechanical drivetrain. And of course, it's a signature of Seiko and Grand Seiko, having required the years between 1977 and 1999 to develop a marketable working version, and then you didn't see an automatic version until 2005, so this is still a very recent and revolutionary technology. The watch, versatile, handsome, and well-sized for a broad range of wrists, can be seen and purchased on our website. All right, and here you have it, the Grand Seiko SBGA 101, fully luminescent dial, See it and own it on our website.